which term of the AP the sequence is given will be 120 more than its 21st term. First, we'll find the 21st term. Let's call it what one. Finding 21st term. Finding 21st term. Whenever the word term comes, it's called n. It's called n. So n is equal to 21. You put in a box. Next, a is equal to 3. And we know d is nothing but t2 minus t1 which is 15 minus 3 which is equal to 12 so d is equal to 12 now we have to find the 21st term first so use the formula tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so t 21st term n you put as 21 a is 3 plus 21 minus 1 into d is actually 12 so term 21 is equal to 3 plus 20 into 12 which is 3 plus 240 12 is equal to 24 so you get 243 therefore term 21 is equal to 240 now we want 120 more than 21st term so 120 more than 21st term we have to find 120 more than 21st term and 120 more than 21st term is nothing but 243 plus 120 which is nothing but 3 4 plus 2 6 363 now only the sum starts so I will call this as part 2 363 so here we must put 363 now we will do part 2 now we will do part 2 in part 2 now the real sum starts Part 2, the number is 3, 15, 27, 39, dot, 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 120 more than the 21st term. 120 more than the 21st term is nothing but 363. Now the sum starts which term? So this only sum starts. Which term means the word term comes, I said n. n is equal to question mark. And we saw a equal to 3. Then d is equal to, we saw 15 minus 3 is 12. We did in part 1. And this is called l or tn. tn equal to 363. Now you can use the second formula which is easy. n is equal to l minus a by d plus 1 l is 363 minus a is 3 divided by the common difference is 12 plus 1 you get 360 by 12 plus 1 12 goes 30 times you get equal to 31 so n is equal to 31st term 31st term is 120 more than its 21st term. This is the answer. Same model, we will see one more sum. This is a decreasing sequence. Decreasing sequence means D will be minus. See, A is actually 84. D is T2 minus T1. D is minus 4. First, you have to find the 13th term. That is called part 1. I said whenever the word term given means that's called n. So tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. You put n is 13. a is 84. 13 minus 4. Then plus into minus, the minus will come here. Plus into minus is minus. 
13 minus 1 is 12. T13 is 84, 12 fours are 48. So T38 equal to 36. We want 24 more than the 13th term. So 24 more than 13th term is nothing but T13 plus 24. T13 is 36 plus 24, 68. To the sum starts. Now which term of the AP 84, 80, 76 up to 60 you must write. A is 84, D is minus 4 we saw already. The last term is 60. Which term means? Term means N. Term means N. N is equal to question mark. So you can use the formula N equal to L minus A by D plus 1. We substitute this value L and A. You get this. From this you get N you get as the 7th term. So 7th term is actually 24 more than the 13th term. So you can write the sequence. The first term 84. You add the common difference minus 4. Here is a decreasing sequence. Because D is minus it's a decreasing sequence. 84 minus 4 is 80. 80 minus 4 is 76. 72 is 68. 64 is 60. Therefore, the 7th term is 60. And the 13th term is actually 36. Hope you understood. Now we will go to a statement problem. In a flower bed there are 23 rose plants in the first row. So I will put 23. We call it as row 1, first row. We call it also as T1 bar A, comma. And there are 21 in the second row. It is called row 2. We call it also T2. And 19 in the third row. It is called row 3. We call it T3 dot 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 and it says five plants in the last row this last one we call it as tn last row we call it as rn and it has find the number of rows n is equal to question mark first we have to check whether it comes under arithmetic progression nowhere they are given it forms an ap this kind of flower bed forms an ap so checking ap first checking whether it is an AP because there are sums in geometrical progression GP there are sums in harmonic progression like this so checking AP we know the formula for AP is 2 times T2 equal to T1 plus T3 so 2 times T2 is 21 T1 is 23 plus 19 2 1s are 2 42 this is also 42 therefore the flower bed and rose forms an AP and rose forms an AP now we have to find N how many rows are there how many rows means N equal to question mark we know the formula N is equal to L minus A by D plus 1 L is the last term which is 5 minus A is 21 23 D is actually term 2 minus term 1. So D, I'll write here, B is equal to 23 minus 21. Sorry, 21 minus 23. And D is equal to minus 2. So we'll put here minus 2 and plus 1. 5 minus 23 is minus 18 by minus 2 plus 1. 5 minus 23 is minus 18 3. minus minus will become plus this will go to 9 times 10 so n is equal to 10th row 10th term here we call it 10th row so in the first row there are 23 what rose plants second row there is 22 rose plants in the last row is in the 10th row there will be 5 rose plants this is a practical problem